everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video. I trust and hope that you're doing great this morning and we're going to be taking a look at Philippe, which continues to impact islands off the northeastern Caribbean. So we'll be looking at the latest for the cyclone, uh, the latest from the National Hurricane Center and some model data as well. And then we'll be talking about those uh, future areas to watch for development. So signs are pointing toward seeing something else potentially even multiple systems as you're going to be heading into the next week or two. So we definitely have to pay attention to that as well. So let's go on to the satellite imagery of the Caribbean. And here we can see that uh, blob associated with Philippe, it is looking quite prominent and has been impacting parts of uh, Puerto Rico, Eastern Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, as well as maybe the Northern Leeward Islands. So you can let me know in the comments what's been happening for your area. But there has likely been a lot of heavy rainfall maybe even some flooding and those gusty winds as a result of all this activity in the area from last night through to this morning and uh, Philippe could still produce some additional rainfall as we head through today so uh, we'll definitely have to be on the lookout for that and then as we head to the South Caribbean near northern South America we can definitely see that there is some activity in the area also a lot of moisture over in the eastern Pacific and then across the greater Antilles uh, excluding Puerto Rico of course there's a bit of activity here in there. Uh, for the western side of Puerto Rico, there isn't as much compared to over in the easterly side of the island though. And then as we look to the Lesser Antilles, especially the Windward Islands, including Trinidad, Tobago, and Barbados, Things have mostly cleared up since uh, those heavy rains from Philippe, but uh, there could be some additional rainfall here and there as we head throughout the day. Now, as we look at the rainfall map here, as it becomes more colorful, especially with those shades of red, burgundy, purples, that is when a lot of heavy rainfall is expected. So this is what the euro has to show as we head through most of today and into very early tomorrow. So as we take a look across the uh, Bahamas and even near the Turks and Caicos Islands as well, the Greater Antilles, Cuba, Jamaica, Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, of course, maybe even including the Cayman Islands. Uh, and then, of course, we know that all that activity near Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, the Northern Leeward Islands would be in association with Philippe. But for those areas also going through parts of South America, especially for Colombia and Venezuela and through Central America, we're seeing a lot of those red and orange shades even some burgundies as well so that is indicating that there will be a lot of rainfall as we head throughout today and in some cases there could even be flooding so please be mindful of that guys we also see those shades for the ABC Islands which have been experiencing that rainfall helping to offset the heat and the dry conditions which have been very much uh, dominant there for some time but then as we look over into most of the lesser Antilles we're not seeing much some shades of green maybe some scattered showers here and there at times but uh, there is a tropical wave that will be approaching we'll talk more about that later in this video now, as it relates to Philippe, let's go on to the National Hurricane Center's cone forecast, and here we can see it. So the storm is sustaining those winds of 45 miles per hour at the max, and it is moving up to the northwest at 9 miles per hour. So uh, there we can see that mustard shading for the extent of those tropical storm force winds, so just to the north of the Virgin Islands, and the storm should continue to make its way up to the northwest, and more on that general northerly track. And then as we're going to be heading into Friday, it could make that very very close approach to Bermuda so it could bring some impacts there before this weekend and then uh, the storm is likely to quickly accelerate up into portions of the northeastern US and Canada as well so that is expected as we head into early next week Sunday going into Monday it's going to be moving very quickly by the way so uh, as for what models have to show we're seeing some more agreement as you can see all models are expecting that it will be moving inland and then as it relates to model uh, intensity guidance here, we can see that all of these models show that the system will remain in tropical storm territory for some time before eventually weakening and dissipating as we head to the latter of this week and into next week. Now, that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you on Philippe. So again, still that heavy rainfall across portions of the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico, maybe even the Northern Leeward Islands as well. Okay, so at a wide view here, we can see some of this activity just offshore of Northern South America, and that is in association with a tropical wave. So as that is going to be approaching as we head into tomorrow, there could be some increased rainfall activity across the Lesser Antilles, and uh, there is another tropical wave behind that one as well. 
Now models are showing something pretty interesting, but before I go on to the ensembles, we want to take a look at the Global Tropics Hazards Outlook Map. So this is from the Climate Prediction Center, and uh, there we have the key to the bottom of your screen. So we're focusing on the Atlantic, and there we see the different time frames. So this is week two, which goes from the 11th to the 17th of October. That is the time frame we're talking about here. And there we see those various highlights across the Atlantic. So across Central America, we see that uh, those green shadings indicating the probability of above average rainfall and even that red shading and that red and white striped area. So tropical cyclone formation is going to be possible here. And I, uh, if you saw yesterday's updated video, models have been suggesting this development just offshore of Central America over in the Pacific before the system moves inland and then whatever is left of it makes its way into the Gulf. We also see that the Caribbean is highlighted, the Western Caribbean, so we have to pay attention to that as well as we're going to be heading into this time frame. So models have been a bit consistent about it. And there we see the same thing as we head to the 18th to the 20th fourth of October and there are some other shadings those brown shadings which extend into the lesser Antilles that is indicating uh, the probability of below average rainfall and that chance gets even higher for Venezuela parts of Brazil and heading into the Guyanas as well and then that yellow shading indicating the possibility of above average temperatures and we're not seeing anything else marked out in the main development region aside from that area of uh, possibly above average rainfall we're not seeing any of those red areas marked out in the main development region to suggest that we will see development however models think otherwise let's go on to the ensembles for GFS and Euro we're kickstart with euro so there we have those various tracks for philippe and by the way this goes out to thursday of next week the 12th of october so uh, there we can see that next cluster of members picking up on a tropical wave to come off africa trying to develop out there and then uh, they're expecting that we could see a low pressure area forming the caribbean and try to develop as it makes its way to the west northwest over in the western caribbean and then we also see that spot over there uh, in the gulf of mexico again coming from that eastern pacific system as we head on to the GFS ensembles, we're going out to Monday, the 9th of the month. There we have those members for that next tropical wave, uh, also for Philippe. And then we're definitely seeing that the model is also picking up on a potential development happening in the Caribbean, likely from the second tropical wave out there. So this is looking quite interesting. And then as we head further out, going to Wednesday of next week, uh, there we can see even more members uh, suggesting that we could see that Gulf system and even with that Caribbean system as well. So uh, this is certainly not impossible once the conditions are conducive enough to allow for development to happen, guys. But of course, nothing new is marked to be watched for development just yet. And I will be keeping watch and keeping you updated as time goes by. So that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this update. And I hope you found it to be quite informative. But if you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you once I can. And as always, remember to be weatherwise.